Hello, my name is Nicole, and thank you so much for taking the time out to listen. Today I am in Genesis 5. I thought that this was important to come to because, first of all, the Holy Ghost led me over here. Now, the reasoning behind it is we're looking at age, okay? We're looking at the numbers, and we're looking at the individuals who have lived so very long. This serves as an example as to what man is trying to achieve with all of his scientific experiments, with all of his studies, with all of his research, um, with his interests in genealogy and so forth. Man is trying to live on this planet a very long time. A very long time. But the problem is, is that unfortunately it's not going to happen. That those years that he once lived, 800 years, 912 years, 910 years, 895 years, 969 years, those years that he lived on the planet that long, that period of time is over. It's over. Now, this doesn't mean that his research and his efforts are, you know, a waste. If anything, they are beneficial. They are educational. And they will help some folks. But the reality of man living for many, many, many years like he once did. Man is so far away from God. It's sad. If anything, man needs to be concerned about his spiritual condition in this life. And the God who created him and where he stands with him. That is the primary focus when it comes to spirituality, that is what is going to sustain him emotionally, mentally, physically, if he can get his spiritual life in order in terms of his relationship with the Lord, with his creator. But instead, what he does is he chooses to be his own God. And so he runs away from what is righteous, from what is true, what is of light. And he wants to cut his own path. And his own path, if anything, is prematurely killing him. He is going into his grave sooner rather than later. So if he was destined to live, let's say, 120 plus years, God rolls back his years he rolls back his years because of much sin committed, unconfessing, sin that he thinks is okay and all right and that he doesn't have to answer to anyone. Okay, let us go. Genesis 5. Here is a list of some of the descendants of Adam. I'm reading out of the Living Bible paraphrased. The man who was like God from the day of his creation. Notice he was like God. He was past tense, right? Is man like God nowadays? Not if he's not confessing sin, not if he's not repenting, not if he's not trying to strive to do what is right and listening and obeying his father, God. No, nope. Man has a lot of work to be done, as well as woman and children. In verse 2, God created man and woman and blessed them and called them man from the start. So when we're talking about man, we are also including woman. These women that we see nowadays do not reflect the type of women that are described in the scriptures. Let us get that understood. Nor are these women nowadays living as long and as prosperous spiritually as the women of the Bible. So it is very unusual to hear of a woman having a lifestyle like Mother Teresa in modern day times or going even further back like Mary. So there is once again sin that is shortening one's lifespan, that is affecting one's lifestyle, that is causing generations, even after the person goes away, dies, to be cursed, 
curses are still happening just as they were written in the Holy Bible. And some people will not argue about scripture, especially with foolish human beings because they know from personal experience what curses look like, what curses feel like because they have seen generation after generation in their own families go through much. So you get a list in Genesis 5 of some examples of people who have lived a long, long time. Adam was 130 years. Seth was born, the very image of his father in every way. After Seth was born, Adam lived another 800 years. Okay, producing sons and daughters and died at the age of 930. So there was population taking place. Lots and lots of people were being born. Nowadays, man wants population to decrease he doesn't want population to increase and if population is going to increase he wants a certain type of look a certain type of intelligence a certain type of uh, mindset and this is why you've also got some scientific play if you will taking place because there is a desire to have superhuman beings that are abnorm abnormally strong that are abnormally intelligent and that will be able to uh, do great things in society but once again I don't mean to be the messenger of bad news but I'm going to share things as I hear them in the spirit that if anything those sorts of creations will backfire in the future and that's what is flying and what is crawling and what is creeping and what is able to build and what is able to destroy will turn against man that my friends is not fictional that is very much real and some individuals if they do some deep study will find out a lot of experiments have gone wrong messing around with human nature They have done a good job, those being a part of all sorts of confidential types of uh, programs and experiments and so forth, have done a good job by hiding much from the public. But in time, things will be leaked. A lot will come out at once and some people will be so horrified by what they have heard that they will be depressed that others will just fall over in shock and others will try to fight very hard to put the cat back in the bag. But once it is out, it is out. And so what used to sound like just made up stories and oh, that's just Hollywood will end up becoming very real. This is what some people discuss behind closed doors as I'm hearing in the spirit in their suits over drinks that what happens if some of our creations go haywire what are the ramifications and what type of security do we have in place we got a glimpse of that in Jurassic Park some of you all are very mindful of this sort of thing because you are working for establishments where this type of study is taking place on building up superhuman beings on building up super communities even there are lots of studies and tests and so forth that take place with resources to see how they affect people in communities and to see what is underground in the dirt under our feet that can be used to assist with all sorts of projects I know for some of you all this seems like strange speech, but there are those individuals who have prayed and have wanted some answers. And so I am just sharing some of the knowledge on a different scale based on what God has given me as I am recording this message. And I thank you, Heavenly Father, for continuing to use me as you do. Go into Genesis 6. Now a population explosion took place upon the earth. This is why it was very necessary for these people to live very long. Nowadays, as I've said before, it is not necessary for people to live that long, considering that we are in the last days. Okay? 
Reading on, it was at this time that beings from the spirit world looked upon the beautiful earth women. Okay, so this is where spirit and earth women are connecting. And there are those uh, that some would say are strange and are ugly and are evil. And they caught a glimpse of them, these strange creatures um, inland as well as uh, in water and so forth. They are still around some beings that come from different places that we have never traveled to are in existence. Did you really think that God only made the earth and what's on the earth? <laughs> Our Heavenly Father made many, 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 many things, many different races, many different things that we cannot even label and this is why man is in heavy study and why he travels to distances that we wouldn't even think of traveling to why he digs in certain territory why he uh, scouts out different indigenous people indigenous people because he has every intention of finding out what more is out here beyond what he sees what he knows what he hears about but this God that we serve does not reveal all things to men, nor does he make everything readily available for man because he knows man's heart. He knows his intentions. And if man was righteous, then God would definitely do all that he could to give man the desires of his heart. But when man is ugly, when he's foul, when he is more concerned about any and everything, that is not good, not righteous, when he is selfish, when he is bitter, when he has personal uh, issues, when he has personality disorders, when he can't even eat right. Why would a intelligent being spend much time with a sinful human being and give him all of his pearls? No, God doesn't even want those that follow him to cast their pearls to swine. So this is why some people will tap and tap and tap into the spiritual realm and get nothing because God has put a muzzle on the mouths of many of his people concerning some very intelligent things, some very uh, supernatural paranormal types of things. Okay. Now, the spirit world met with these beautiful earth women and took any they desired to be their wives. Then Jehovah said, my spirit must not forever be disgraced in man. Holy evil as he is, as I've indicated earlier, he is still this way. I will give him 120 years to mend his ways. And most men, are they living 120 years? Absolutely not. In verse four, in those days and even afterwards, when the evil beings, right? This is what the Bible calls them, evil beings from the spirit world, some of which uh, those that consider themselves to be quite intelligent and in the know will call after. These are not good people, good spirits, good whatever man wants to label them as. They are not. The Bible says they are evil beings from the spirit world. And what did they do back then? They were sexually involved with human women. Their children became giants of whom so many legends are told. And we see evidence of this sort of thing still ongoing when you look at how huge some of these people are. I will tell you that when you get connected with individuals who have participated in tapping into the spiritual world of warlocks and witches and other things that are not righteous you will find some interesting things take place with your children I'm not going to go into detail because God has not released me but I will tell you that I know that I know that I know verse 5 when the Lord God saw the extent of human wickedness and that the trend and direction of men's lives were only towards evil. He was sorry he had made them. It broke his heart. This hasn't changed, my friends. 
reading on and he said I will blot out from the face of the earth all mankind that I created this has yet to occur but it will but those that he will take to be with him they will be saved and you get further information in the book of Revelation I will stop right there so you can continue to read to learn some more about the creation aspect of uh, the population and the things associated with it and why some things are the way they are to date this is a message that I hope that some of you all when you are reading all sorts of things and seeing all sorts of things that sound very sci-fi like that you will know that this God that we serve he is showing us some things that go beyond the natural realm. He is showing us some things that the ministers wouldn't dare preach about because the ministers are even disturbed about the things that our governments all around the world are doing. So when this sort of thing takes place, do not be alarmed. Do not be fearful. God has warned you. Just trust that he will use men to protect you when things go out of control. I thank you so much for listening to this message. To God be the glory.